You wouldn't believe the crazy story I've got to share. So I'm just a regular guy, always up for a bit of adventure. One day, me and my buddies heard about this old amusement park that had been closed down for years. Rumor had it that it was cursed or something, but you know how rumors can be. Anyway, curiosity got the better of us, and we decided to check it out. The park looked like a blast from the past. Rusty roller coasters, faded posters, and that lingering smell of popcorn mixed with rust. We figured it would be a fun place for some urban exploration and maybe some cool photos for Instagram. As we entered the park, a chill ran down my spine. There was this odd sensation, like we were being watched. We brushed it off, chalking it up to the creepy atmosphere. The sun was setting, casting long shadows that seemed to dance around the empty rides. We split up to explore, cameras ready to capture any hidden treasures. I wandered towards the old Ferris wheel, its creaky metal frame towering over me. I snapped a few shots, thinking about how awesome it would be if this place could be brought back to life. But then, as I turned to leave, I heard it. Faint laughter, like echoes in the wind. It sent shivers down my spine. I looked around, thinking it was just my imagination playing tricks. But that's when I saw them, figures moving in the shadows like phantoms darting between the broken rides. My heart raced as I realized I wasn't alone. I called out to my friends, but my voice seemed to get swallowed by the strange silence. As I cautiously moved forward, the laughter grew louder, morphing into whispers. Whispers that seemed to come from all directions, as if the very air was carrying secrets. I pulled out my phone, ready to use its flashlight to reveal the source of the sounds. And that's when I saw them, the ghostly forms of children, dressed in old-fashioned clothing, playing around the carousel. My gut told me to run, but I couldn't tear my eyes away from the surreal scene unfolding before me. The children's laughter turned into cries, their faces contorted with sadness. I felt a rush of sympathy. What had happened to them? Why were they trapped here? A sudden gust of wind rustled through the empty park, carrying with it a haunting melody that seemed to emanate from nowhere. It was then that I noticed an old music box perched on an old ticket booth. It was open, its delicate tune blending with the ghostly cries. Without thinking, I approached the music box and gently closed its lid. The park fell into silence, the figures disappearing as quickly as they had appeared. It was as if I had released them from their torment. The wind died down, and the park was quiet once more. I made my way back to where I had last seen my friends, finding them spooked but safe. I told them about the children and the music box, but it was hard to explain just how surreal the whole experience had been. And that's the tale. A seemingly normal day turned into an encounter with the supernatural in that abandoned amusement park. Sometimes you stumble upon things that defy explanation, and all you can do is share the story, hoping that others might understand the inexplicable too.